Welcome Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today I will be doing your mid-April 2021 love reading, so let's get started. First things first, I will be asking what the person on your mind wishes they can tell you. What does this person wish they can tell Sagittarius at this time? How are they feeling for Sagittarius? Three cards. Okay, this wanted to come out here. Okay, thank you. All right, Sag. So nervous. You make me lose my cool, and I just don't know how to act in your presence. Okay. Battle. I've tried my best to move on, but I can't seem to let you go. And lessons. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. Wow. Okay, Sag. So it looks like this could definitely be someone from the past here. Maybe an ex or someone that you dealt with doesn't have maybe you guys were never in a relationship here but this is definitely someone you've dealt with for some time here i mean it doesn't have to be right could have been someone new and then maybe something went wrong and then you know you guys should stop talking but for the majority of you i'm feeling like this person has been trying really hard to move on but they can't seem to do so okay maybe there was a lack of closure here but whatever it is that happened, whatever this person did, Sagittarius, they definitely are feeling some type of regret. And I really feel like they're, learn they're learning a lesson here, okay? But let's see what this is all about. Okay. All right, Sag. Let's take a look at your recent past here. Oh, Jesus, Holy Spirit, what happened in the recent past for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Oh, a lot of stuck energy, guys, okay? You or this person may be feeling stuck at this time. Okay. Okay, four cards came out here. I will go ahead and take them. Okay, so definitely something did occur here in the recent past because you got the tower, okay? A lot of water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? I don't know why Spirit also said Taurus, okay? Guys, Eight of Cups under the deck. This is just telling me that, yeah, indeed, this person is having a very difficult time completely letting you go. This can most likely or most definitely be your energy, Sagittarius, but I'm really feeling, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, this person is having a very hard time walking away from you. Maybe they physically walked away, but emotionally, they're still very um, attached to you. Okay, Sag? So, yes, let's talk here. In the recent past, you have the Moon card with the King of Cups, with the Tower, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. There were secrets here, okay? Like I said, you could have been definitely or you could have been definitely dealing with someone who maybe was older okay didn't have doesn't have to be this could have just simply mean with the king of cups this was someone that was very loving at one point very romantic maybe they had a lot of gestures maybe they maybe you thought you knew this person um yeah maybe you thought you knew this person sagittarius maybe you thought you um this person was serious okay but there was some deception here, or there was something here that you were not seeing with the moon card, okay? And I feel like this person tried to get away with it, okay? Someone here tried to get away with some, some sneakiness here, but with the tower card, that just tells me that this person or whoever it was, was unable to get away with whatever it is they were trying to hide with the moon card, okay? But let's go ahead and clarify. But I'm definitely feeling like, um, see, forgiveness under the deck here i'm telling you this person may want your forgiveness sagittarius yeah let's see what this is about please clarify the moon card here in the recent past for the sign of sagittarius okay something happened in the fall guys okay something happened in the fall maybe you found something out maybe this person did something why is the tower card here Recent past for the sign of Sagittarius love reading. Okay, so it has something to do with commitment. Guys, maybe this person ended up not committing to you. Or two, this person was already in a commitment and you had no idea. Okay, so take whichever story resonates, but I'm, I'm feeling both energies. So that's what literally 
made shit go down here. Oh, wow. You're not even gonna believe me. Look what's under the deck. Third party, guys. Third party. I'm not lying here. You know, cars don't lie, guys. I'm telling you. You found out about a third party. Maybe, maybe this person was already involved. They were commitment. They were committed. Um, they weren't being truthful. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. What's the seven? I mean, I really have to do more clarification here. But let's see. Give me one more card. Why is the seven of swords in reverse here? Okay. Recognition. Okay. So, you know, I'm really picking up the energy that if this person wasn't a third party or if they cheated or if they lied to you about something that involves someone, this person, guys, this person's learning a lesson here, a very, yeah, very important lesson here. Th this came out twice. Look, lessons twice. This person is definitely going through it. Definitely going through some type of karma, some type of regret here because of what they did, because they know, they recognize that you're their soulmate. But the problem is that I think they're settling, guys. As I was shuffling these Oracle decks, I did see settling um, here. So I feel like this person, if they already are in another commitment, or if they did cheat, or if they were involved somewhere else, they were just simply settling, you know? Wow, okay, let's see. Let me just take a sip of coffee here really quick. All right, guys. Current energies for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Current love energies for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, yeah, okay. Two more cards. Current love energies for the sign of Sagittarius. Beautiful, beautiful, yes, okay. okay. All right. The Empress under the deck, okay. Some of you are really, really, I feel like a lot of you Sagittarius watching this. Um, you don't have to, it can be male or female. Two stories, either one, you have gone through a lot, a lot, okay, and I feel like now you like how do i put it like now these people are not even on your level okay because they still need to go through some type of lessons you already went through them right i feel like throughout your life you've gone through it so now you're like this empress who can now be like a mentor or a teacher to others okay but for others of you i'm picking up the energy where you know right now be careful you know if you do not want to get pregnant just take the necessary precautions for others of you may you may already be pregnant you know if, if so congratulations but yes guys this can also uh, mean a uh, pregnancy so just be on the lookout for that okay now you could have been dealing with an aries as well i'm seeing leo strong here leo aries capricorn virgo taurus or aries leo sag but again it can be any sign any sign guys um, but strong Aries, strong Leo, strong Pisces, so far, okay? I'm also hearing Gemini and Taurus and Sagittarius, but anyways, okay, so you have the Three of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Ten of Wands right now, current energies. Sagittarius, whoever it is that you're thinking about dealing with or connecting with at this time, I feel like there's a lack of equal give and take there's a lack of effort being put in this connection at this time maybe you know this maybe your person is not putting enough effort maybe they don't want to work on it anymore maybe this is you maybe you're like oh, i don't really want to work on it i just don't want to put effort in this anymore right but i'm picking up the energy here that someone feels really tired very burdened um a little bit fed up but what you're not seeing sagittarius is you have the sun card here you know leo energy you Okay, you may not want to go back to this person because you already healed. You already healed. You already um, learned a lot of lessons. You are maybe doing really well on your own right now, okay? For others of you, for others of you, you may be tired of a marriage. You may be tired of commitment. You may be wanting to walk away from you know something that no longer is working here okay a connection 
a you know a relationship a marriage i'm also picking up that energy but regardless i do see i do i gotta keep it real guys i do see the majority of you sagittarius walking away from some dramatic or some chaotic situation at this time when it comes to love okay and whatever it is that you do sagittarius spirit is telling me that brighter and beautiful times are await you here okay you're gonna be filled with like a lot of energy um you're gonna feel free you're gonna feel liberated you're gonna feel like you're gonna start to see things in color now okay maybe for the longest time you were feeling down you weren't really like you know when it's really sunny outside and you're like oh well i don't even feel like it's sunny like i just feel like crap right but in your case i feel like I feel, I feel like you're thriving, Sagittarius. You're going to be thriving. And if you don't feel like this now, because maybe you're confused as to what you should do, I feel like it's coming and you don't even see it here. For those of you who are completely single, not dealing with anyone, I do see a strong Leo coming your way or an Aries. Okay, strong Leo Aries here. So just be on the lookout for that. But let's clarify. Please clarify current energies for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Mid-April 2021. What did I say? Someone wants forgiveness. Somebody doesn't want you to completely walk away here. Ten of Wands. But you're burdened. You're, you're, guys, some of you are like, I'm fed up with this situation. Maybe this has been going on for such a long time. Maybe it's been going on for like, you know, three, three weeks, three months, three years. Or something significant could have happened in like March or July of 2020. Okay, I don't know what that means for some of you. Okay, or maybe even October as well. I'm hearing October. But let's see. Why is... Okay, well, no. Please clarify here current energies for the sign of Sagittarius. Love reading, please. Okay, one more card. Okay, so I do feel like this person might, is feeling a lot of grief. Okay, somebody here is feeling a lot of grief. Um, I, again, settling. See, I told you. Did I not tell you like this person's settling? If they're already committed to someone else, they're settling. Okay, I feel like this person's going to communicate. They just don't know how or when. They're tired of wearing a false mask here. Okay, but there's deception. Okay, there's deception here, guys. Okay, there's deception. And what's interesting is like... I hope you're not dealing with a person, Sag, where it's like, even though they fucked up, they, they're playing the victim. I don't know why I heard that. Like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I hate people like that. Oh, my gosh. Like, I shouldn't use that word, but oh, my God, that just, like, really makes me, like, cringe. I don't know. It just makes me so mad when, like, someone messes up and then they try to flip it on you or they try to make you feel like, like they're the victim when they're not. Like, it's like, no, what the fuck? I'm the victim. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, like. Forgiveness, victim, and divine masculine. I feel like this person might be um, a little... They might have a lot of ego right now, but deep down, they want forgiveness. And this person's a little bit childish because I feel like they're playing the victim. I'm telling you, they're playing the victim. And you're just fed up with it, you know? You're fed up with, like, the games. You're fed up with this person just, like... Yeah, you're just tired. I'm picking up the energy. You're just tired here. Right, let's see here please give me three cards for the near future for the sign of Sagittarius love reading please mid-April 2021 near future Sagittarius please okay well you have all these cards coming out so I'll take them okay balance Libra energy so don't worry, Sagittarius, a lot of balance. The situation will, justice will be on your side. The situation will reach its balance, okay? I see you winning in this situation. Now, let's see, you got a few cards. Okay, okay. Very, a lot of healing. Sagittarius, listen to your intuition here in the near future because I see that you are, 
going to be very intuitive. You're going to have the answers within, okay? You're getting out of this hermit mode in the near future, okay? You're no longer going to feel stuck. You're no longer going to be like in your shell here. You, well, okay, so you have the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. You could have a deal with a Virgo as well, okay? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces again. I keep seeing Pisces, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, but can be any sign. Look at how powerful this is. This is, to me, is a lot of solo energy, okay, at least for the time being. Some of you, I'm picking up the energy where you're traveling somewhere, you're going to go see someone, or you're going to go see, go to some, you're going to travel somewhere in April. If not, then in, in July, okay, I see that very strong here. Um, but for others of you, I feel like you are going to be very intuitive here in the near future. You're going to be protecting your energy, you're not going to let this person kill your vibe you're not going to let anything upset you you're going to stay focused in whatever it is that you're doing okay spirit is also telling me protect your energy sagittarius because there, there might be people around you this could be even family or friends or people maybe this people that are connected to the person that you're dealing with who are trying to get information out of you or that will be trying to get information out of you or trying to like kind of test you so just be careful with that okay let's see what good stuff is coming for Sagittarius what good stuff coming for Sagittarius I see money good okay I know this is a love reading but I have to say that you may meet someone when you travel again guys something here is gonna come quick with the chariot so be on the lookout for that okay Someone's going to come here quick, and I have a feeling it's this person. If you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I'm telling you right now, this person's coming back. They're going to reach out. They are. And the reason why I say that is because you have the chariot with the eight of cups again. Remember you got the eight of cups earlier in your reading? Unable to walk away from you. Unable to completely walk away. Maybe physically did, but like emotionally they just can't. Even like, you know, these cards said it here, guys. So be prepared. This person will try to come back. Ten of swords in reverse. This person can't walk away from you. I'm telling you guys. Okay, they feel like shit without you. Five of Pentacles. Yes. Okay. But then again, it's like you're not about that like life where it's like, oh well, I'm gonna play the victim and I'm not gonna like, you know, come right. You want this person to come right and you're kind of just like over it at this point. I feel like you're really just trying to get your energy back. Maybe you've been feeling low, but I feel like you're just trying to get like positive energy here, trying to rejuvenate, trying to heal, trying to, um, you know, meditate and manifest what it is that you truly want here, okay? If not, I see you doing that in the near future, a lot of manifesting, a lot of healing, okay? Some of you may be interested in Reiki as well, okay? But let's see here. Near future, please. Love reading for Sagittarius mid April. <laughs> I knew it. Guys, too many, too many confirmation cards. Yep, too many confirmation cards. I mean, like I said, this most definitely can be your energy, but I'm not picking up. I'm not picking that up. I'm picking more like this is a person that you dealt with, Sag. Again, like I said, could be you. Could be, you know, take it how it resonates. Again, if it's not resonating, just completely leave it behind. But look at how dark these cards are. This person's going through some major shit here. Some major regret. Major. To the point where they're numbing themselves. You know, with, I don't know, distractions, alcohol, hopefully not, you know, drugs or just, I don't know what. But they're numbing themselves with something. Or with people, okay? But they're feeling major regret, Sag, okay? And maybe you already told this person, because this person received something, or, you know, they, you, maybe you will be telling this person in the near future, like, um, no, I'm doing fine without you, okay? In the near future, though, I see this person feeling, well, at least in April, mid-April, still feeling regret, still numbing, okay? Why? Because the skills have been balanced. The skills will be balanced. Justice will be on your side here, Sagittarius. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And look, you're being admired, Sag. You're being admired. Okay, look at this. Beautiful. 
people are admiring you. They will be admiring you here mid-April. So, beautiful. Well, I mean, like, not beautiful for the person you're connecting with or, you know, that did you wrong, but... I mean, it is what it is, right? I don't know what it is that they did. I mean, it looks like they had, like, a third party, but... Oh, well, right? Actions have consequences. All right, Sag, let's move on here. But overall, Sag, I do see you, like, really... I, this is beautiful. You know, like I said, like, I feel like you're really going to be traveling. You're going to be protecting your energy. You're going to be manifesting all the good things. Whatever it is that you've been manifesting, I see that that's going to come, come through here for you, okay? I see just a lot of protection here. You're really going to be feeling free in mid-April, okay? All right, let's see what your angel number is for mid-April 2021. What's your, okay. I'm going to take this one because, okay. Very interesting because under the deck you have I am brilliant and then the card that actually flew out for you was I'm, I am intelligent. So, you know, they're kind of both very similar here. So you, your number is 25. Okay, you may have already been seeing this number, Sagittarius, if not, pay attention. If you do see this number, if you come across this number, you know, you, yourself, maybe 25, maybe something about 25 um, is very significant. This is your angels trying to connect with you, okay? So yeah, you have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and you desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you immense awareness of the world, okay? So yeah. Feel free to Google this if you want to know more about this angel number, okay? 25. But you are very intelligent, Sagittarius, okay? You are. And I feel like because of that, you're not going to let this person get away with things anymore or that easily. Because they will be coming back, especially if they're a water sign. I keep hearing that, okay? Or if they have water on their chart. Okay, let's see. What is your crystal? What crystal will help... Sagittarius here, mid-April 2021. God, Angels, Holy Spirits. What crystal do you have for Sagittarius? If you don't have this crystal, it's okay. Feel free to write it down while you're manifesting, praying, okay? Uh, Google it for more information, how it can help you. Okay, this is your crystal, okay? You can go ahead and screenshot it. If you don't have it, you know, it's okay. Just write it down here. So past life patterns, all chakras, right? Like I said earlier today, maybe you're interested in Reiki. You're interested in like, maybe maybe you guys need to like, you know, um, maybe some chakras are, are blocked or maybe you feel like you want to like, I don't know guys. I'm really picking up the energy where the fact that you have all these meditation and, and high intuitive and manifest, I don't know, cards here in the near future, I feel like you're really going to be open opening up those chakras here, okay? So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Forgot to put this here up. It's early in the morning, guys, so if I can't really talk, forgive me for that, but, uh, you know. All right, Sag, well, like I said earlier, if this did not resonate, leave it completely behind. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It means so much to me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.